Shalom fam, it's your sis that biblical bay jelly B L yummy. You probably haven't seen my face, like an updated version of my face for a long time, just photos, because I've been so busy, all praises to the most high. It might look like I'm about to do some surgery, but I am doing some surgery on my house, some DIY. Love it. But I just have been hearing this. I've got another thing to speak on, but I'm gonna have to leave that for another day. Because I've got a lot going on, all praise to the most high. But this is what I was just being spoken in my spirit, right? There's a scripture that I will include. It's from Second uh, Peter uh, chapter 3. And it's about the, the day of the Lord, which is, you know, the battle of Armageddon, the end. Um, but this is the way that the Lord was speaking to me. This is what I was hearing in my spirit that is going to speak to someone, especially to my sisters, because I'm always speaking to my sisters and my brothers too. But um, don't come out of position okay your position that you're in don't leave it don't remove yourself from the position that you're you're in because a lot of the time i think one of the biggest things we as women especially have to recognize about ourselves is that we talk too much we say too much we reveal more than the wisdom that we have uh to be able to deal with the consequences of what we're revealing. I hope you can understand what I'm saying. We talk, 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 and this happened and that, this happened. And if you're speaking about it in terms of relationships, yeah, my ex treated me like that and he did this and he did that. Wisdom should tell you, if you want a good man, he don't want to hear how everybody else devalued you. You know, certain things like that. This is the analogy that, you know, I was hearing in my spirit that I want to speak to you. Why you must not leave position. Why if the Lord has been preparing things in your life, you're waiting on things, you're hoping you have faith for something. Don't leave that position. And I'll come back to the scripture that I was speaking about in a second. Um, but um, it's like this. This is the analogy I was hearing that many of us, and it's a bit like the children in... Um, the Israelites who were in the wilderness and they were complaining, complaining at the Lord. Imagine, yeah, you're feeling a bit peckish. You're kind of hungry. You ain't got no food in the yard. Or maybe you do, but you know how we are sometimes. I just feel like, mm, let me just get a, what, some pho. I say pho, but I know it's pho. Some ramen, a little soup, a, a little wagyu mada. You know, I want something out. I don't even feel like getting whatever. Actually, do you know what? I feel like I might get a pizza. And you see me, I'm weird. I like pizza with no cheese. Is that even a pizza? I don't know. But I'm going to put in some special dietary requirements. Don't add any cheese to my pizza. Are you following what I'm saying? Imagine you're hungry. You decide, I'm going to make an order on Deliveroo or whatever service that you want to use, right? And you put in some special requirements. Leave off the jalapenos. Or don't put any olives. Or I don't know. For me, it's a, I don't want no cheese. So you put that order through and they tell you, okay, it should be within you, be with you within 40 minutes, you yeah? know? It's just a, a little journey. It's not too far. The shop is actually down the road. It's not far. So you're all sitting there waiting and you can hear your belly growling and you're just feeling like, I am hungry. But the time elapses. It should have been here. You know, they said 30 minutes and it's now been 35 minutes and I am hungry. I've been in great expectation of the thing that I need. But you guys are still, it's not arrived. I've not got any updates on my app. I can't see what's going on. I know I paid for this. I know I sacrificed by going into my pocket and exchanging something for the service that I'm asking for. For the, the promise that you guys, who I'm doing business with, who I'm making a transaction with, that you have agreed your part. You're going to do your part. I've already done mine, right? So, you know, you get impatient. You get up, you pull on a hoodie because right now you're not even trying to do no cuteness. You're just touching the road because you need your food, right? You're hungry and the shop is just down the road. So you get to the shop now and you start complaining. You don't even take a second. You say, I made an order. My order number was this, this, this. And my food still hasn't arrived. And so the person behind the counter is like, oh, it's you. But they're taken aback a little bit because your attitude stinks. You know, you're talking like this, like your name is that biblical babe, you know? 
So they're kind of taken aback and it's like, they're like, okay, can you calm down a little bit? Because, you know, we're preparing your order. What actually happened in the kitchen, they say, is that we missed your diet dietary requirements. We didn't realize that this was a special order, that you have special requirements when it comes to this order. So we started everything fresh and new for you. This is why it's taken a little bit longer. But because of your attitude, because you in there pop up complaining and everything, they're like, you know, this person just seems really ungrateful. You know, we made this extra special for you, extra -ly. We made this extra special for you. Nobody else gets this treatment. They get the generic one that we buy from our manufacturer, just the generic, you know. But we've made this, we've designed this to your dietary requirements, to what you actually need to really enjoy and be satisfied with what we're giving you. And so you stand there and you realize, oh, okay, maybe I'm a bit out of pocket. They say to you, and the worst thing is, the courier has already left the shop. Now, I know most of our apps these days tell us when the courier's left the restaurant or blah, de blah, blah, de blah. But just imagine this, okay? I hope you're catching the analogy that sometimes, and I think I say especially women, but maybe it's brothers too, we chat too much. We don't sit and wait patiently and recognize that maybe some of us, we have special things about ourselves. We've been through certain things that require not the generic, something that fits and suits our lives, our, um, hmm, it's just actually so deep. There are some people that you've experienced certain things that make you not want to be in certain environments. You can't very, you can't really, uh, be productive in certain environments around certain people you're waiting on a job but oh why is this job not coming and this not happening and this and this and this and I've applied for every job and they've said no because that wasn't for you it doesn't meet your special requirements and uh this is what just has been in my spirit to speak to someone don't move out of position the thing is already on its way to you but if you go and move out of time Go and start complaining. You just look like you're ungrateful. And you're going to miss it when the thing knocks on your door. You won't even be home. You won't be in the place where you need to be to receive what is for you. Okay, I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. Somebody, don't leave position. Just wait. Have a little patience, okay? Your thing has your special requirements. The, the, it suits you. It's got to be made, tailor-made to your taste, to your desires, to what will actually satisfy your soul. Yours is a little bit different, all right? But yeah, I pray this encourages someone. And this is the uh, scripture I was going to speak on was um, from Peter. Well, this is what inspires this. It's from Peter and it's about the day of the Lord that there is going to be um, a lot of, you know, distress for people who haven't chosen Jesus Christ. But for us... It's a bit of sweet day in that we're receiving our Lord. We The promised end is here. The arrival of the promise, the ultimate promise is here. And it may feel like um, the Lord moves slowly sometimes. You know, people have been saying for how many years, oh, the end is here and we're living in the end times and this is happening. And, you know, people might get impatient and feel oh, the end is not here you know that's not true they've been saying this for generations but realize in every situation including the ultimate end the lord takes his time he's slow to move even though he's not because everything is in his timing it's just not in ours he doesn't move too quickly and out of time simply because he understands us that sometimes you need to repent in your that spirit of complaining that ungratefulness that you have within you, that he makes you wait to teach you patience, you know? And if you've ever prayed for patience, sorry, there was just like some yucky thing on my lip and it's just like, oh, couldn't even deal with it. I just had to pause the thing right there. But if you've ever prayed for patience, you will feel like you're uh, under some kind of delay. The Lord will teach you patience by spreading things out in your life. All right, but um, I pray this encourages whoever needs this word. And I'll speak to you guys very soon because I've got some things to tell or no that you might not like, but say it, go. All right, love you. Shalom.